I'm Dr. George Cho, interventional pulmonologist at Providence St. John's Health Center in Santa Monica. I want to speak today about a new technology that we're bringing to Providence St. John's called PEF ablation or pulse electric field ablation. This is a technology that has been around for some time and has been used by interventional radiologists to treat tumors in the abdomen, chest, and even the extremities. But a new advance is now allowing us to deliver this PEF ablation technology to tumors in the lung through navigation bronchoscopy, which is a tool that we have had for a while that we're using to diagnose lung tumors, but we can now use it in a therapeutic approach to deliver PEF ablation to tumors in the lung that may be primary lung cancers or metastatic disease to the lung. PEF ablation is a non-thermal ablation technique that does not heat or freeze tissue. It allows us to treat lung tumors that traditionally have not been treated with other ablative techniques because they're either too close to vessels, airways, or the periphery of the lung. PEF ablation allows us to treat these other tumors in close proximity to these other vital structures because it is a safer approach that doesn't affect normal tissues as much. The other major advantage to this approach is that as the tumor is being treated and as apoptosis or cell death occurs, the tumor releases intact antigens that the patient's immune system can then recognize. That allows the patient's immune system to then basically be turned on against the tumor and allow the patient's own immune system to then work against the tumor. This has been shown to affect tumors in other parts of the body, not just the one that's being directly treated with PF ablation. In theory, you could treat a single tumor in the lung, but the PF ablation technique may have impact on tumors in other parts of the body, affecting the overall tumor burden that a patient is dealing with. That is a major advantage that other ablative techniques don't have. PF is a outpatient procedure. We do the procedure with general anesthesia, and after the procedure, they recover and they're able to go home, causing minimal interruption in their daily activity, daily lives, and allowing them to be able to continue with other therapies that they're receiving for their lung cancer or other cancer that's metastasized to the lung. So we're very excited about bringing this technology to Providence St. John's. We will be the first in LA County to provide this in the lung. It's available in other parts of Southern California, but has not been used through the bronchoscopy approach in LA County, and we will be the first. So we're very excited that we are bringing this to our hospital to treat our patients and to provide additional therapeutic options for individuals with advanced stage and even early stage lung cancers who are not great surgical candidates. If you have any questions on how it's done and for whom it could be available, please feel free to reach out to our clinic. We'd be happy to take your questions. See you in our clinic as a potential candidate for this new therapy.